everybody. Welcome to another Things and Stuff on the Starch Rec Models and Props YouTube channel and any other social media platforms, Facebook and all that crap. Today we've got another very special kit and probably not just one of my favorites, but uh, a lot of people's. Uh, we're looking at the 1-1000 scale Lochnar class starship from the FASA uh, role-playing game. And uh, I think this one is going to be pretty big. And people are excited about it. And this is uh, probably one of the most popular FASA ships to come out so far, I would imagine. Um, of course, there was the miniature... Uh, which I have somewhere, but I don't have it with me, so I should have dredged that thing up. But of course, we have it in the old FASA ship recognition manual. There's the old classic. There goes a Romulan base, because I'm shooting multiple videos from the Chowder class. But uh, yes, we have our Lochnar frigate, and uh, kind of a classic, neat design. I think that that one was made by Andorians, right? Or am I thinking of the, the fur in Northampton? Something like that. I don't remember. I forget the backstory. But regardless, we're here to look at the kit. So let's crack that guy open. Uh, we'll start off with the destructions. And... Alright, so pretty basic. Easy to put together. Um, optional deflector dish. We'll look at that. And then a very nice decal and kind of paint guide for you there. So there's that. I'll start off with the saucer section. Beautiful casting. It's even got the little uh, skylight windows, whatever you want to call it. Beautiful windows cast in. Uh, little panel lines, the little landing gear doors or cargo bay doors, whichever you want to call it. Even got the side... I don't know how he molds these. It's just freaking awesome. It's got all the little side windows. It's even got little... There's like a shelf there. How does he do that? Like these little side windows. I think that'd be covered up. It's just amazing. A little shelf thingy there. I think that's part of the shuttle bay. The little planetary sensor. And we'll get to the bag here in a second. Standard how to wash and apply your, the model and apply your decals and stuff like that. Look at that base. Is that not freaking awesome? They always have fantastic bases. That's like another little added bonus. Is great artwork and stuff like that. But a uh, sh little ship patch base. And then we've got our decals. And you get names for four starships. Lochnar, Kosk, Illara, Illyara, something like that. And the Argelia, something like that. Um, yeah, those are big registries. We've got uh, motion picture air phasers and uh, RCS thrusters if you want to add those on. It's very nice. Yeah, we'll get this out of here. And let's check out all the little stuff. But yes, good old FASA stuff, and I'm hoping... I think there was a Lochnar released through Starship Modeler uh, in 1-1000 scale, but it was a conversion for the Polar Lights. And the nice thing about this is it's its own complete kit. You don't need to harvest any stuff from a Polar Lights kit. Um, but we'll start off with looking at the warp engines. And there goes uh, Facebook or something. But... Uh, you got all the those thingy, the rectangle thingies, whatever they're called, cast in there, and fantastic uh, Bissard collector detail. The ribs are great. It's wow, wow! Look at that. That's not a separate piece, but the like there's a space in between it. Like it's not solid. There's a little flash in there, but that'll come out. Yuck! Ah. Engineering and science. It's just amazing. Uh, these guys are cast in. Fantastic detail in there. Cool little grid detail on the flux chillers. It's just it's amazing. And then we got this one. Same thing. And then they got the little uh, 
key insert and same on the back. Now well, let's go with the secondary hull, if you want to call it that. Really smooth. Oh, look at all the windows. That's beautiful. And then windows on the back. And I like how they did this because I think on the original one, there was a like a one shuttle bay on the side, which was really weird. But he's done it in here. And there you go. Look at that. And shuttle bay. And it includes a door if you want to have it closed. So we'll pop that guy on. Oh, oh my God. Look at that. It's so cool. It's like it locked in. I don't even need glue. You can make this saucer separatable. That's so cool. That's just wonderful. This is the most wonderful kit. Although I just did that D4 and that is also wonderful. So, uh, but yeah, so there we go. We got that. Look at the pylons which I think look really cool. And you'll notice it has some piano wire cast in there, so you're not going to get droopage over time. So that's, uh, nobody likes droopy nacelles. That's always really disappointing. Um, fantastic little grill detail. Wow, look at, oh, cool. Sorry, I haven't actually like looked at this in person very closely, so I'm looking at it through the camera scope. And now I have to sometimes stop and actually like look at the detail, not through the camera scope, like living your life, not through a uh, camera and or phone. What a, what a, what a concept, but uh, really nice, easy key hole system, whatever you want to call it to make sure everything's lined up properly. Ugh, so freaking awesome. Uh, there's that. Uh, let's do the end caps. Standard uh, production era end caps and they have a, I don't know if you can hear that, but really nice uh, grill detail. Looks like a little bit of cleanup on that, but that's not going to be too bad. And if you wanted to, you could probably make this uh, first or second pilot version. Just replace the end caps and then a couple other things if you wanted to. Here is, what's this? Oh yeah, little impulse engine detail with grill and everything in there. God, even this like little grill detail inside the impulse engines. It's ridiculous. The molding is just fantastic. Here's your shuttle bay doors, which look really cool. I guess if you wanted to, you could probably cut it in a certain place and just have it kind of open or like the doors are opening. That wouldn't be too difficult. And the impulse whatever piece that goes on top. Excellent detail on that. And do these guys next. Uh, one pretty freaking cool thing is you get clear vacuum form uh, Bessard caps, and all you have to do is cut along the line, and then that'll just fit right into uh, this guy because you can kind of. Uh, we all have motion sickness and blurry vision, but uh, there's kind of it kind of is sunken down. And once you cut that off, it'll, I'll just drop it, I guess. Uh, once you cut that off, it'll just slot right into that. So that makes this painting, painting this really easy. So you don't have to like mask off the front of this to paint it whatever color you want to paint it. So that's awesome. And then you'll also be able to uh, paint the inside of this and see some detail in there. So just beautifully thought out and just glorious quality. So. I think the original version and that we saw in the um, original FASA art did not have a deflector dish on the bottom, but they include one if you want to add that little feature. Uh, here is the mount. Yeah. Which is pretty awesome. Nice detail. And that just slots right on top of the def uh, planetary sensor. You need the glue it on, obviously. And then something which I'm terrified to even hold, we've got a fantastic little deflector dish. Eh, there you go. Just a little bit of flash on the side to clean up. And yeah, that's awesome. 
fantastic detail on that. And of course you get the little deflector spikes. Hopefully I don't break them. So that would be unfortunate. And you get two of them just in case you do break one. And hopefully I don't and I can use that on something else. So that'll be nice. So yeah, there you go. That is the Lochnar class. And, oh, I didn't do this part. Gotta have a bridge, right? Shoop. It's got all the windows cast in. And something really cool is they kind of did it like the production uh, model of the Enterprise, the studio model, where it only has like the four windows and then two on one side, uh, which is pretty awesome. I am on board with that. So, looking at parts is all well and good, but it's more exciting to see it built up. So let's see if I can put it together. Okay, we're gonna try. We're gonna try this and see how it goes. But I've seen some people have some difficulty with the um, vacuform Bussard collectors. So we're gonna try to do this on camera, uh, just to give you an idea. Let's see. Down. See how well that works. Oh, there we go. Um, so basically, this is what I do. Um, I get a brand new exacto uh, blade, and you see this? You can see the little line right there. Well, this should be interesting. I cut along that line, and you want to be super careful. So probably not trying to do it with a camera in front of your face and it will probably look better. Basically, I just cut along that line and uh, I, some, I just kinda push down and then move a little bit, push down, move a little bit, push down until it's thin enough to where you can kinda slice all the way through. So I'm gonna do that off camera for a second. All right, I think I just about have it. Blech. And the kind of nice thing, I mean, you'd have to come up with something. Oh, there you go. And then, boop. Oh, almost. Whatever's going on there. Eh. Oh, almost. Yeah, see, this is why you shouldn't do it in front of the camera. Or, you know, have a camera in your face. Anyway, the beautiful thing is... You could probably use these, the little uh, bucks, for something else. Um, some ship probably have to do a little bit of work on it, but uh, you could probably use those as bassards for some other ship or sensor domes or some kind of thing. But we'll put those aside. But yeah, there you go. There's a clear uh, bassard cap, which goes on uh, your Lochnar class starship. Just throw that guy on there, which will probably fall off because it's not glued. But there you go. So, eh. Oh, there it goes. Anyway, you get the idea. But let me just take that one off because it's probably going to fall. So, uh, a little bit of canopy glue when you're all done uh, down in there will secure those perfectly. But yeah, I'll check that ship out. Isn't that awesome? I love this ship so much. It's so badass. I also discovered not only... Are there piano wire, whatever, inside the pylons? There is piano wire in this secondary hull that I think goes all the way around like a horseshoe shape. Then I also noticed, let's see if it's going to show up. Is it on, can I see it on this one? Maybe it's on this one. There is piano wire also. That's kind of hard to see. You can kind of see it barely. But there's piano wire inside the nacelles also, so the nacelles themselves aren't going to be drooping. So this is a really solid freaking ship. Um, but there's that. We'll turn it over. Hopefully it all stays together relatively. But let's see how it fits with your fleet. We will start with its uh, future refit. This is one available from Multiverse Models. This is the Phobos class, which is 
I assume based on the Loch Nahr, but I think it's supposed to be its own thing or something like that. Kind of get the idea. Difference with the Phobos is it's got the kind of a little uh, roll bar thing going on and then with the um, uh, torpedo launcher. But you see it kind of it it kind of has more of a catamaran separated than this one does. Uh, they kind of blend in right there for the shuttle bay. It's kind of a good idea on size, how those go together. Let's see if I can flip it over again without destroying anything. Um, so that's pretty awesome. Got a contemporary with that. And a similar ship, also available from UGG models. We've got the Akiazi class, little perimeter action ship. Go well. Yeah, let's see if we can see my Aztecing. There you go. You can kind of see that on there. Those free handing, because that's my new thing now, is free handing at, well, not free handing it, but using um, templates I cut out and then just holding those over and then airbrushing it without like actually taping anything down. But I did that with the uh, iridescent paints. And uh, while it did kind of poison me, because it's a nice lacquer, uh, it kind of turned out uh, neat like. Ish. Not the best, not perfect. It would be better if I taped it down or actually used masks, but uh, just for this little guy, I think it worked out. Um, and then a contemporary ship of the line that it would be paired up with a nice Constitution class. This is my USS Congo I finished uh, a little while ago, a couple of weeks ago. Kind of good idea of size. This, of course, is the 1 1000 scale polar lights kit and all that so just a great TOS ship TOS style ship you can add um, to your collection if you're a fan of original series ships uh, model making in general especially if you're a FASA fan you definitely got to pick up this ship uh, I'd, I mean just based on time period of course it's probably well it is better uh, although i've never had one but i can guarantee you it's better than the starship modeler kit of course that came out you know 10 plus years ago and is no longer made but which is i'm sure it's a fine kit but this is uh work of art i gotta say this is a work of art it's just fantastic so i'm very excited and i hope to see i can't wait for more. i can't wait for this one this the remora class that's going to be sweet i'm sure they're going to make that one and hopefully we'll see a lot more of the fasa ships because i think those are just wonderful and you know whatever else i'm just always blown away each time by what ug models comes up with just just the detail and mold quality and little thing little tiny fun things like the shuttle bay and stuff like that that you can put into it and again uh, yeah, look at that. I, I don't know how I see. There you go. You can kind of see it. How this is cast in there whilst having like through and it's not a solid piece and that not being a separate piece. It's just just mind boggling. And like these windows and these windows on the inside here and all that stuff. It's just uh, it's just mind boggling and wonderful. So links in the description below to this guy um and uh get them while they're hot because i missed out on the more which is the original series version of the uh abbey class which i think is from jackals manuals or one of those one of the fan made technical manuals and the lynch and the Durf, which I think is also is also a FASA ship. Well, sorry. Let's see. Oh, there it is right there. Which is a fleet tender. Which is kind of a neat ship, a little Larson design, or Larson type, which is that guy right there. Or similar to no, that's the Lochnar. That would be the Lochnar. I know it's in here somewhere. There it is. The Larson type, similar to that, but it's like a fleet tender. So I gotta get one of those when it's back in stock. And there's a new Klingon ship that's pretty awesome. That's their own custom design. So 
just so many wonderful things from UGG models. I love them so much. I need more money so I can buy more plastic and resin things that I don't need and are not critical to life, but make it so much more enjoyable. So, yeah. That's pretty much it on the Lochnar. Thank you guys for uh, watching the videos and do the liking and subscribing and all that stuff. Check out the Facebook page for more pictures and build-ups and stuff like that. And, uh, yeah. So, anyway, that's I think that's all I got. And we will see you next time for things and stuff or building something or whatever.